Hi everybody, hope everyone's okay. Welcome to my weekly update and um, free advice on mental health. Um, today we're going to think about our thoughts because our thoughts are really, really powerful. So if I say, I usually say to my clients, who is responsible for your thoughts? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think about that. It's not your next door neighbour. It's not your auntie May. It's you. You are responsible for your thoughts and your thinking. Now, in cognitive behavioural therapy, we often engage in what we call unhelpful thinking patterns. And I'm going to talk to you about those unhelpful thinking patterns. And I want you to think whether you relate to this. And when you recognise that you relate to this, there's something you can do about it because you can start to think about how you challenge your thoughts. So the first one is all or nothing thinking. Everything's black and white. There's no in between. It's either this way or the other way. Yeah. So I want you to think about the times when you've engaged in this type of thinking and think of how it's affecting how you feel and behave. So one of the examples could be that, well, I'm such a failure. I didn't do, you know, at work, I, I didn't get this deadline uh, done on time. So I must be a failure. But you're not thinking about all the other explanations behind it. The other one is catastrophizing. So you're trying to make things bigger than they, they need to be. You know, you're predicting things to be much larger, much amplified and then you're thinking about it all the time to the point where it is going to affect how you feel yeah and one of those examples is i'm not going to be able to function at all or you know everyone hates me or the world's against me when you start to think like that i really want you to focus how it feels so instead of saying to yourself oh you know um, you know, the, the whole world's against me. I want you to start thinking about, well, what evidence do I have for that? You know, when did somebody mention something positive to me? Yeah. The other one is um, emotional reasoning. So you think that something's true because you feel it so strongly. When actual fact, you've got no evidence. So when you engage in this thought pattern, it's all about finding the evidence for it, really finding the evidence, fine tune it and thinking, well, where is the evidence? I want you to do when you do that, you've got no evidence for that belief or that thought, how again, like the others, it starts to impact positively on how you feel. The other one it is like, um, I call it Mystic Meg. So fortune telling. How many of us engage in fortune telling, guessing, oh, that person doesn't like me. That's why they did this and that's why they did that. When in actual fact, if you're responsible for your thoughts and you have no evidence for it, then what does that suggest to you? What does that tell you? It means that you have to double check on yourself and think to yourself, you know what? This is a really unhelpful thought thinking pattern. And it's, I've got no evidence for it. Again, it's a real pattern. Now, there's loads of these unhelpful thinking pa um, patterns that we use in cognitive behavioural therapy. And it will take more than the five minutes that I usually assign to, or seven minutes tops that I assign to this video, because I always get the impression that people get bored. So if you really want to find out more, I shall give you a second half of this uh, video next week um and i shall drop the video probably our thursday or friday i do one every single week or if you want more information about um, how i work as a therapist you can contact me on www.paularetherapy.co.uk and all my details are on there i do offer pri private practice and i welcome anybody to uh, reach out and inquire have a nice weekend or if it depends when you're watching this, just enjoy your day. Bye.